what he taught to make her persistent in pushing for what she wanted. And also with the apostles as well. So he's literally put into practice Gentiles. what he preaches. Yeah. So I'm trying to listen uh, to him. What can you do about it? Let, Nothing. Let, let, and it makes in us Quran, grow in it's truth. The other way around. And Christ yeah. in the example the of what we're doing. It, it, it talks about, not that I'm completely clued up on this, but it talks about some people, that some nations, they're cursed and they're not on the same level. Yeah. So the Gentiles, that, that, it talks about other nations and sometimes it talks about them in a derogatory way. So if you're going to follow what Christianity is teaching, then you're going to look at these people like they are second rate. Like I'll give you an example. Some people often talk about the story of the Canaanite woman, yep. where Jesus did not want to help her because she wasn't an Israelite. Yep. She was a Gentile, yep. even referred to her as a dog. Yep. So we all know, even, though if, even if we're lovers of dogs, that dogs are beneath us. We're not on the same level. Yep. If, it was a, if it was a matter of you dying and a dog dying, and you ask me which one should die, I'd say the dog, simply because you're over the dog. You and the dog are not on the same level. Yep. So what I'm trying to say is it does promote that some people are better than others, or some people are, that there's there's different levels or in yep. regards to nations. So, so, so it's always been, it's, this is even back so, in the Old Testament. So, so let, me, let me reply to that in full, yeah. okay? So the, the, the first reply to that is when you actually look at the passage, there's, there's two terms for um, dog in Greek, okay? The term that is used when Jesus says it, that it would be wrong to uh, feed the, 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 feed the, the, give the meat to the dogs. The term that is used in the Greek is what's called a diminutive. The, a diminutive, we have it in Spanish, and I'm bilingual, Spanish is my second language. A diminutive is not always an insult. A diminutive can actually be a compliment. In the north of England, they'll use terms like flower, petal, pet. They use the word pet in the north of England, and it's not an insult. It's a, it's a, an, a, a term of affinity. Now, from, you know, I've used that term myself and people outside of northern culture have thought that I'm being insulting, but I'm not being insulting. And that's actually what's happening when Jesus uses that term dog to the woman. He's using a diminutive that isn't an insult, it's a, a, a term of affection. In the same way that in the north of England, they say, hey up love, hey up pet, hey up petal, right? It's not an insult, it's, a, an, in, it's an informative term. Now, hold on one second, because if you're going to say that this is a problem, then you should, if you're consistent, have a problem with Muhammad. Muhammad who said that Satan looks like a rusky black man. S Muhammad who said that you should obey your leader even if he is an Ethiopian with a head like a raisin. Now that is kind of insulting language that Muhammad used of black people, right? And so the reality is, the reality is, the reality is, bro, if you're going to condemn, if you're going to condemn that, then you should condemn Muhammad. You should condemn Muhammad. But the question is, will you be consistent? Are you brave enough to be consistent? I'm, 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 I'm saying, I'm, I'm, don't, be don't be distracted by these people. They're just getting, sorry. Yeah. They're talking across. What I'm saying to you is he refused to help her based on that, based on the fact that she was a Gentile. Yeah. So it's not like he's saying, you know, like I might say, our oh, pet yeah. to a girl, or, but we're still on the same level. Yeah. I'm not going to, if I called you a dog and refused to help you, that means I'm looking at you like you are beneath me. Did he That's help her? Yeah, they were Gentiles or dogs. Right, Eventually, so, but no. she had to beg for help. If you look, and usually, sorry, but let me just finish. Yeah, yeah. If I ask any Christian here, anyone, even these ones here right now that are here in our discussion, yeah. if I ask for Jesus to help me right now, if I come to Jesus, will he help me? Will he embrace me? They'll all say yes. In the case of that story, she begged for Jesus' help, yeah. and eventually Jesus dealt with her. Yeah. So he didn't want to deal with her, because simply because she was a Gentile and she was on Israelite. Yep. So there was a difference in regards to nations. So question. shall I reply to that? So 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 the actual so, sorry, I don't know if it's the point I'm trying to make is that when you say that she was he was saying it in like a nice way, it's clearly in that reference it, it wasn't nice. So so let me reply to that. Yeah. It clearly was nice and we know that it was nice because like no 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 I didn't interrupt you. you didn't. So let me speak without interruption. It clearly was a, a, a term of encouragement because rather than being discouraged, the woman continued to ask. And the reality is, if you speak to any Christian who's mature in their spirituality, they will tell you that no, Jesus doesn't always answer your prayers. He doesn't always give you what you want because sometimes he either wants you to ask because it draws faith out of you. 
or it's not good for you, the thing that you ask for. And so Christians understand that Christ taught persistence in prayer. That's one of his key teachings. That's the parable of the, the, the widow and the unjust judge. One of the parables that Jesus is teaching is about persistence in prayer. And, and as I've already demonstrated, even in England, we ex have examples of using diminutive terms in affectionate ways. And you're simply, and, and the Greek term is a diminutive. That's actually the Greek word that is used. It's more akin to puppy than it is to dog, the harsh sounding word that we translate it as and hear it as. Because in English, dog is a harsh term. We do use dog as an insult. So when we see it in the text of the English, we read it in that sound because in our language to call someone a dog, it is an insult. But to call someone a, I'll give you a perfect example. Often male lovers of women will call them kitten, you know, but it's not seen as an insult. Like, you know, kitten, they, they, they'll, they will talk to one another with these affectionate terms using diminutives. So I've given you plenty of examples to demonstrate it's not necessarily an insult. Secondly, Christ did answer her prayer. That's the important thing. And if you actually look at that exchange and that dialogue, yes, she was persistent in her prayer and Christ was drawing out that persistence from her. Why? But I noticed that you haven't addressed my point, she which is that Muhammad, listen to these words, he said, that using an example of when you should obey your leaders and how you should obey your leaders, he was saying that you should obey your leader even if they are an Ethiopian with the head like a raisin. Now think about what that means. He's in essentially saying that friend, even, if you, and even if you, even if you, even if you, the the worst kind of human is your leader, you should obey them. And what did he define as the worst kind of human? An Ethiopian with the head like a raisin. Now, that's obviously a contextualized racist. It's, it's like me saying you should obey your leader even if they are a convicted paedophile. Do you see how that sounds? Because that's what Muhammad was doing. His context, no, in the context into which no, we're speaking, no, the lowest category of human being in pagan Arab Prove culture and amongst the Muslims was the, was the black guy. Prove it. And he's You're saying, obey your speak. leader, You're even if this, they're an Ethiopian that. with a head like a raisin. Where, so you brother, shouldn't, you shouldn't just avoid that. Muhammad Sallallahu never did none of that, brother. If he did, prove it. Prove it. And I'll say, you know what? You're right. Don't, 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 don't listen to these trolls. Don't listen to the facts, the logic. Don't listen to these upset trolls. Don't listen to these upset trolls. You just press on with your conversation, bro. That's what he's saying. Their bad manners should not affect you. You should be able to continue with your conversation. You're doing much worse than what I'm doing. In, you in, in regards to what you said about it, you're the doing much worse. Yeah, hang on, bro, two seconds. In regards to the Ethiopian comment, I'm gonna have to look into that. That's Go for something it. that I'm not aware of. And yet. then come back and talk to me. That's no problem. Probably yeah. next week or something. Yeah, you're here every Sunday. I'm, I'm gonna look into that. In relation to the Canaanite woman, you are fully aware. You are fully aware of that uh, scripture in, in the Bible. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What I'm saying is that you're saying that uh, she should show consistent faith. When she went to Jesus, she said, oh, master, master. I yeah. can't remember it verbatim, bearing in mind, but she came to yeah. him and said- Sorry, I got it, bro. So she came to him. I've got it, I've got it. Oh, no, I've got it here, thank you. She came, she came to him and said, oh, master, oh, master. Yeah. So she was already had the faith. Yeah. But she's already, she's already coming to Jesus, according yeah. to the Bible, with unlimited faith, calling him, oh, master, oh, master, and begging him. Yeah. He didn't want to acknowledge her until the disciples said, I can't remember exactly verbatim, but the disciples ended up coming to, coming to her and saying, Send her to, away. To, to Jesus and said, listen, she, she, yeah. she's constantly yeah. pestering us, Jesus. Yeah. Please just give her a little bit of time because this is becoming too much. Yeah. Then eventually he dealt with her. But the reason why he didn't want to deal with her is because she was a Gentile. And I think in that same passage, it says, I have, oh, when they asked Jesus, or when, Je when she asked Jesus, yeah. He I have had come for no one but the house of Israel. I have Israel. only become to the lost the lost sheep, sheep of, the of the house of Israel. Israel. Yeah. So there's a clear distinction between what she was, yep. a Gentile, yep. and what he was yep. as an Israelite. Yep. There's a clear distinction there. But yeah. she came to him with pure proof in the beginning. Yep. So and just to confirm that passage with the Ethiopian thing, I'm gonna have to look into it. Yeah. So you I should. can't talk too much. And, and I'll tell you and what. I need to get the context. I'll, and I'll tell you what exactly the traditional understanding of the Muslims is: is that that is a passage in which. Muhammad is demonstrating that you, how, how much faith and fidelity you should give to the caliph, to the leader. And that's what they understand Muhammad is teaching. Because I have looked into this passage. But you've got to understand how the example makes sense. 
he's he's picking the he's saying that even if they are the lowest of the low in your perception you should still obey them which means that he was speaking into a racist culture in which attitudes towards black people were racist but he's saying that even if the leader is an Ethiopian with the head of a raisin which is quite insulting in and of itself then you should still obey them so that is essentially saying an old wrinkly black man you know because he's got wrinkles and he's describing it as a raisin now if I was to describe any old elderly gentleman who's black in color like a raisin head in front of you you would absolutely right to say that that is an insult and I and it was no less of an insult in the, the time of Muhammad you know when has anyone described someone as having a raisin head and being a compliment my point to you is the when passage that you're quoting Jesus said that Jesus said right and it's a I'm diminutive term and I've given you examples from modern English and I've demonstrated that in the Greek there are two two terms that are used for dog one of them is a diminutive and when it's used in a diminutive sense just like diminutives in English or diminutives in Spanish it's not necessarily an insult. It, it is, bro, because he refused to help her. You don't he, know Greek, and, bro. And, and he used that. If I'm saying you're a dog, I don't want to help you. Yeah, but I'm not meaning it in, in a pleasant way. You're hearing it in English, bro. Even if I heard in ancient Aramaic, it's if, not, if there was dogs back then in, 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 in Israel at the time of Jesus, peace be upon it. The text is in Greek. They, they, no, I'm trying to say they, they got it from the ancient Aramaic. Yes, so they translated it. Yes, so exactly. I, so, so, so they translated it. Exactly. You, no, one second, because here's the here's the finish, bro. right. I, yeah, but but the thing is, bro. Right. You know my yeah, you, you fin I mean, okay. You f you finish your point, and then I'll reply. So I'm not even going to be long. What I'm saying is, even in the time of Jesus, there was dogs about. Yeah. yeah? And I'm pretty sure they, there was no RSP shame back then where people looked at dogs were very, very, even more so second rate back then than they are now. Because as you well know, that uh, the animals of today, animals, uh, dogs, cats, they have rights. You can't just treat them anyhow or you'll get arrested. I can't just go and start strangling cats or skinning them in the street. Yeah. I would get arrested and probably sent to jail for that. Yeah. So what I'm saying is even in the time of Jesus, the dogs were probably even lesser. Of, of, of a, they, they was even more so. Yep. So what I'm saying is Jesus refused to help her and then he referred to her as a dog. So there's, when you're saying that it's an, it's an imputative, imputative, diminutive. diminutive, there was no way that could have been nice if he's refused to help her and then called her that also. And then, talk, and then there was some talk about the crumbs falling off the table and yep. stuff like that. Yep. So it's clear that she was of a lower class yep. because and of her... Uh, being because, Gentile. And also I was going to say to you, sorry, but I'm just going to land quickly. Again, I don't know in its entirety but I'm sure can that you, offer... Can you save your second point? Let me reply to your first point and then come back with you. remember the first. Yeah, can I, can I just reply to that first though? Because I think we need to bring that to a conversation before you end, end that conversation before you bring up a new point. And, and, and the, reality is, the, the, the reality is that, you know, I, I've, I've exemplified and demonstrated that the terminology is diminutive in the Greek. It isn't an insult, and people did love their family dogs. The even animal? back, even back then, people loved their family animals, and animal. it's not necessarily an yeah, insult. And the reality is, bro, that you can either chew that pill or not. You can either believe it or not believe it. But I've heard this argument before, and it's just not convincing because it doesn't have an understanding of the Greek. It doesn't have an understanding of culture, and it doesn't have an understanding of language. People today in English. Lovers, love it. men who love women, some of them call them kittens. It's, you know, it's, it's a term within relationships even today. And so, and you, and you see the behavior of your Muslim compatriot, Don't say Muslim compatriot you know, because you just so is, 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 is insulted so, no, because of insulted. facts about no, your prophet no, that you no, need to look at. To because if, if you're going to look into that and you're going to find that what I'm saying is true, you're then you need to ask yourself whether this is someone Mama, you should follow. You and I would say to you up. that it isn't. The fact of the matter is Christ did help the Gentile Christ did not He speak answered in Greek. her prayer. He did not speak in and in Greek. the parable of the unjust English. judge, when friend? the widow persistently so, pestered the unjust judge logic, in that man. parable, logic, he was using it's it logic, as an example bro. of persistence. Because he what Christ wants from you, book. brother, what Christ wants from he you, and what he wants from me, is that faith Listen, is something Bible, that pushes says, us outwards, that it makes us Satan grow in virtue and it makes in us grow in it's truth the other way around. and Christ yeah? in the example of what we're do what we're, so what you're talking like about that, 
what we're talking about book, is Christ putting into Satan practice one of his own in parables. The, Bible, the parable Satan was the about persistence in bullshit, chasing brother, after God and asking God what you want. And then he's using the example of the woman to put into he practice dog, what he dog. taught to make her persistent dog. in pushing for what dog. she wanted. They lick their balls. And also yeah. with the apostles they as well. Shit. So yeah. he's it's literally putting into practice Gentiles. what he preaches. Yeah. Something they Muhammad never dog. did. Muhammad Salah said to Allah you Salah. that you could only have four wives. Have he had over 13 and wives. You can't even have one. So he couldn't even practice what he preaches. You, know what I mean? you can't even get one. He couldn't even practice on, what man. he preaches. So how, on, you wanted to raise another point. But you can't live with a woman. I was going to say that even, you even, even, in, even in relation to... Because I'll be real with you, my friend, yeah? Even. Look, brother, I'll be real with you, yeah? Oh, the, the, when the when are you going to correct him brother, on his bad behaviour? I don't you're, you're Christians, Bob. I don't who 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 amongst the Christians is behaving like this? No, behaving but, like no, this. I'm just trying to say. Who when, told you if, I'm if a Muslim? Bottom, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. You can ask me whatever you want. But, but who amongst it's the Christians? Me. So so no, to no, the no, brother. To I'm the, I'm I just want to make a comment to the camera. So to the brother that was challenging no, no, me earlier. The Holy Spirit there you go. Proving me right. It's the chair team. Proving me right. No no no. So you change the conversation, my brother. Yeah. What I'm saying. You change the conversation, innit? When you do this, you're being rude. I'm trying to listen. What can you do about it? Nothing. Let him talk. You can't when, do nothing, when, all you can do is walk away. You were that, weren't well, you that on, silly man. boy that tried Don't to talk about... Don't say silly boy, you're my height. Where, 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 you can go hackney, I can where, knock you out, Maggie. You... Don't say boy. Weren't you that silly do boy that boy. tried to challenge me if over there silly boy, and talked about his cock on camera? Look, this where, is weren't Christian you that guy too. over there? Why are you mentioning cock, bro? Because I think you were the guy that did bro, it. there's kids around. You sound like it. It sounds like it. You understand this, yeah? You're a disgusting guy. You talk about God. cock, yeah? What, what, what? You talk about dicks and shit. You talk about Keep your Jesus. hands to yourself. Yeah, my bad, yeah? Keep your hands to you yourself. Talk nothing, you talk Go nothing on. good, man. Go what? on, what? what? You're trying to kiss him or something, bro. You're I'm trying to bored. listen to him you're and you're being bored. rude. No, you're not. Go on. You're not listening to him. You're not listening to him, bro. I'm trying to. You keep interrupting. See, you're trying to. On, you're not bro. acknowledging, bro. He's been talking for 20 minutes. What? You've been interrupting for 20 minutes. It's because you're not listening to him, bro. What? Go on, bro. changing the topic, man. What, what, That's why he's not interrupting me. Because he knows you're just waffling. Yeah, well, he's not interrupting you because it because seems what? that That's no matter opinion. how bad no, you man. behave, you just make no up one wants to put you You've in your place amongst your Muslim up. brothers. You've just made that up at the spot. What I'm That's saying, not Bob. what he thinks. What I'm saying, Bob. So you yeah, lie no, all the time, the, the reality is it's speaker's corner, isn't it? Yeah, of Everyone can chime in. Yes, of course. You're Christians, haven't said anything. You're right. Even when the guy in the red jacket was saying, Amen, hallelujah, and all that jazz. Look, look. I didn't say anything to him which I witness off. Yeah, he wasn't interrupting. He wasn't, but he was saying what he was saying oh, he out wasn't. loud. Yeah. And I didn't say anything. Mean, he can feel free to say what he wants. Yeah. If somebody wants to chime in and say yeah, something. Absolutely right. They speaker's can say corny, he has the right to heckle. Speaker's That's corner. what it is. Yeah, but absolutely. What I'm That's is, the deal. Yeah. In the Bible, uh, it specifically says that the Israelites were God's favoured people. Are you yes. Israelites? Yeah. Yes. So, Are you Israelites? So what I'm saying you is that. speak Hebrew. No, you don't. What I'm saying is that. You don't There is a clear distinction that not everybody is the same. Right. Because God said out of all the nations on the earth, the Israelites were his chosen or his most favoured people. Yep. Israel is smaller than England. Yep. It's tiny. And you guys were class as dogs. Get so what out. I'm saying is that there is a distinction between nations. Yep. We're not saying even it. According the Bible is. to the Bible. Okay, can I reply to and that? And even the Quran says that as well. Can the I Quran says that? that Israel was God's favoured people yep. above all nations. Yep. It clearly says this. Yep. And all the prophets, I think, and uh, starting with Moses, because yep. I think Abraham and Noah wasn't uh, Israelites, so we're not too sure wow. where their lineage stemmed from, but from... Uh, was it Abraham? It started from the, the tribe of Judah. Uh, yeah, the tribe of Judah. Judah. It was Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah, yeah. Brother, so Abraham that, that wasn't a Jew. No, he brother, focus no, no, on me. No, no, no. He wasn't, yeah, yeah, he focus wasn't. on me, please. But his, his descendants, yeah. uh, they became. So what I'm saying is that there is a clear distinction. Muhammad yeah. So if Jesus is saying that there's a clear Muhammad distinction as well, he's not entirely Isaac, wrong. So can I reply to that? Yeah, yeah. Full, full. So, so the reality is, the, the reality is, uh, Christ at the end of his life, he sends out his apostles and he doesn't just send them out to the lost children of Israel. He sends them out to all nations to teach and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teaching them, teaching them to follow his commands. Right? That's, what, that's what Jesus says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28. You can go and check it out for yourself. These Muslims are just ignorant. Now, the I'm thing is, when Paul, dickhead, when you know Paul I mean? writes his you're epistle to the Romans, he says you know I mean? that we if are anything, to be, be that we, the Gentiles, that's me and you, yeah? are grafted the saying, onto Lord, Lord, 
the vine of Jesse, which is the vine of Israel. So we're we grafted see, on. Now, do you know what grafted means? What happens in this world? We're going right? to see what happens. It's an agricultural term. What you do is you cut away Lord, to the Lord. to the lowest part it of the says branch. In the Bible, what happens? You cut it a says, notch in the branch, and then you me, take a see. different plant get with different fruit, and you put that onto the the root and the stub of, my name. of the get other get plant, and you me, bind it together. And then what happens is the two join together, and the root and the stub feed the branches of this stuck. other tree and that's how he describes the relationship of the Gentile to Israel so we are grafted onto Israel so to the question to the question does Israel in the Old Testament have a special place yes but obviously as a Muslim you can't criticize that because according to the Quran you, they, uh, the Quran affirms that same teaching. Not That's correct. But in the New Covenant, Christians believe mm. that Gentiles like me and you together can be grafted into Israel is so that, 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 that this in the new covenant, God. yes. Yes, that's the new covenant. It's the new covenant, yes. So in that new covenant is something where we become the confederacy of Israel.